Hello guys, it is Web Channel 26 here, and I will be doing a review on the um Lego Lord of the Rings Yokel Army. It comes with 275 pieces, and it is a building toy. Just just in case you didn't know that, and it is recommended ages 8 to 14, and is set number 9471. And it comes with six great figures. Here's from the backs. Here is the back of your box. Show the Lord of the Rings video game right there. Let's get on to the set. Now, figures first. We we have um, Iron Can Soldier. It comes with a really cool helmet and nice head printing. He has double sided head, one's white and one's brownish. And he has a really nice axe. He has printed legs. And you get two of them. Then you get one just like him. And he comes with a sword and a very nice shield. And he has black hair and a double sided face. Double sided head too. And he has back printing that is very nice. And front printing that is very nice. And very nice leg printing. And last of all, and then you have a, one of those soldiers without the armor. And he's pretty nice. They're all the same. Some of them has armor and some of them don't. And one has hair. Next you have um, Yimusho, whatever his name is. And he comes with a sword, a Captain America shield, but decorated differently. He has some back printing and leg printing. And he has a very nice head. Double sided too. And a very nice detailed helmet. And then you have um, Rohan. Rohan comes with a plain helmet like that, bow and arrow, and um, he has nice front printing. Doesn't have any leg printing and some back printing. He comes with a two a bow and arrow that's really nice. And you also get a horse. <coughs> Let's actually look at the set now. This set, this part right here, actually has a play feature. If you go like, dip. If you, if you, if you go like, then that's like a flick fire missiles these days. So, but the flick fire missiles have very good design. If you see, they have a top like that, and they are designed very well. And this cannon is very well designed. It is very nice. On the review of the on the um kind of this and it has very nice wheels that are not really wheels it has nice printed lego pieces on the side and a printed lego piece on the front and it has like wings and you can shoot and it has these um silver things for i don't know why next you have this castle which is very well detailed in my opinion it um has two like an area with two flags and an area where like, you can shoot. And they go really bad at flick fire now. You know, the old days they used to have great flick fire. Now, see, it is very well detailed. I like this. It is great if you have castle marks or you're into Lego Knights or whatever that is called. Then this is great. Here's the back. And you have nice little stairs and a little, little hidden tunnel area. And to the little, little flame and stuff and you also have this to connect to the other sets like this to the other set the castle sets where well, I already do my name you can connect with set 9479 you can set you can connect with 9474 so um to make a giant castle as you can see right there and that's the set. All in all, my my all take on it out of one to ten is probably an eight. This set is very well detailed. The figures are very nice, except I don't really like the canyon the cannon that much. They could have just made that smaller and had a lot more detail to the castle. That's what I would have liked and preferred. But um, yeah, it's still a really good set. Yeah.
I really don't need another horse, though. Bye, guys. Sup?